Archer, Chef at Vandenberg. Chef, firstly, welcome back. And secondly, the last time we saw you, you were on the shooting line in Tokyo. What have you been up to since then? Well, I've since then uh, retired from the sport, but uh, I'm still very much in it since I uh, do sell bows for a living and I love watching it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here and to watch archery. Well, we love having you in the commentary box. And, well, as you can see, the athletes are already making their way out to the shooting line here in Munich. It's almost time for the women's compound team bronze medal match between Estonia and Turkey. Well, they're parading the athletes out here in the centre. We're right in the middle of the town here. Uh, let's see if we can go down for the athlete introductions. Well, there we have it, the introduction of the two teams, Turkey facing Estonia, the Turkish lineup with Yesim Bostan, Sonal Lok and Isa Souza. There they are getting ready with the coach in hand. Estonia have Lissal Yatma, Mary Marita Pass and Maris Tetsman in their lineup, going up against this very tough Turkish team. We're ready to get the first match underway here on Compound Saturday as Turkey take on Estonia for the women's compound bronze medal match. And it will be Turkey to shoot first. So we are underway in this bronze medal match. Turkey starting off with a sighter, a nine. Halfway through the end for the Turks. There's three athletes in the team and they rotate through two sets of arrows each. So halfway through the Turkish end, it's over to Lisel Yatmar for Estonia to get them underway. Ten. Starting off with a good 10. So, Chef, not much between them as we go through the first half. They'll have another three hours. I mean, the conditions do look pretty good here today, don't they? Yeah, the conditions are uh, much better than the rest of the week from what I've seen in uh, uh, all of the footage. And uh, it seems like it's not uh, not so windy. The temperature is nice. Uh, so pretty much uh, the perfect nice. conditions to shoot a high score. Nine. 
Well, not a bad start. Just dropping two points uh, out of the possible maximum 60. And it does now mean that Estonia have to shoot three tens to stay on level terms. Yeah, it's a bit different than uh, uh, recurve shooting. So uh, now they shoot cumulative, which uh, she does uh, properly. <laughs> she uh, shoots it in. Um, the cumulative scoring means that uh, all of the arrows are counted, counted up um, uh, and it means that they don't have a set system. So uh, yeah, they have the whole match to uh, catch up with uh, Turkey. Well, getting a good shot from behind there. Seeing the twitching of the muscles at full draw. That's the line. So claiming uh, one back there, just uh, one behind, 58 and 57. Uh, w we have a mini break now, first of uh, four ends of archery. Uh, Turkish team looking pretty happy, but they're only one ahead. And as you say, Chef, with the accumulative score, all Estonia have to do is shoot one more point in the next end and they're back on level terms. Yeah, they still have 18 arrows to uh, catch up with the Turkish team. So uh, it, it should be enough uh, to at least put some pressure on. Uh, the positive thing is that they get to shoot first in the next end because they're the trailing team. Well, arrows being collected, scores being confirmed at the moment at the end of the 50 meter range. Back at the shooting line with the target behind us. The two teams looking fairly comfortable out there. Conditions looking good. So, Chef, let's come back to you. Tokyo, that's it. You're finished. You're not shooting anymore. Yeah, I, I am still shooting, just uh, <laughs> not competitively. Um, What's uh, that like? Uh, it's also nice. It's it's nice to uh, to shoot and not having to think about uh, if anybody else is shooting better than you are. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, enjoying it uh, quite a lot. But. Uh, yeah, there are times that I miss uh, shooting on a finals field like this, but uh, it's not every time that you're going to a competition that you get the chance to shoot at the finals field. So in that sense, I'm happy with my choice. Well, so are we, because we get the pleasure of having you in the commentary box and giving us your expert opinion. Here at the European Championships in the center of Munich, in the shadow of Statue Bavaria, Estonia take on Turkey for the compound Women's team bronze medal match. Estonia shoot first in the second of four ends. And we hand over to Lizelle Yatma. Nine. Although a uh, compound bow has led off, so you don't uh, uh, hold the complete draw weight in the end, uh, there is some shaking, um, so it might be due to nerves. And another nine, 27. But it's also not like you can... Uh, um you can eliminate all of the muscle muscle tension. You still hold a little bit of draw weight and you want to pull um, the string to the string stop. So you're basically pulling into a wall um, and that can also uh, bring some uh, muscle tremors. Nine. Donald Lok, the youngest of the Turkish trio at just 20 years old. Shooting in the middle. And no real surprise to see Yesim Bostan, the 27 year old, currently world number 13, anchoring the Turkish hey. team. That's Brian. She can climb it onto the middle of the target after two nines. We switch back to Yatma. The, the strongest, the highest seeded of the Estonians, and they have a slightly different tactic, Chef. She shoots first, the strongest member of the Estonian team. Yeah, just to uh, to put a good marker in, I suppose. So, um, 
Yeah, yeah. Yoshi shoots at them. It's nice to have uh, a good start of the end. If you um, uh, put the least experienced archer in the first position, um, you'll often find yourself in a situation where you need to make something up in the end, where if you follow the most experienced one, you can also... Um, nice. a good shot just out. You can also um, uh, just, you know, ride the wave of uh, the good shots that have gone before you. So there's different tactics. For sure. And that's a ten. Yeah, put on display right here. Tatsman shooting ten. last for Estonia. And uh, sorry, pass shooting last for Tatsman in the middle. And if you look at both teams, they've they've perhaps got their least experienced in the middle. Yeah, that's typically the place uh, the least experienced archer shoots because it's the least. Um, least amount of pressure. Um, opening an end uh, brings about some pressure um, and so does closing an end and closing an end uh, typically also means closing the match which is uh, uh, often is uh, the, the most stressful uh, moment of the match. Well the least experience for Turkey plumbing it again into the middle of the target so an opportunity here at the halfway stage for Turkey to, to make to take a commanding lead in this match. And another ten. Four in a row, in fact. 58, 58 again, consistency the being the order Turkey. of the day for One Turkey. They go three ahead of Estonia at the halfway stage of the compound women's team bronze medal match. So, Chef, let's go back to this uh, order, um, and then I want to get into the communication of the team as well. The order here is being shown out that two different tactics work you know, well for these two different teams. Estonia shooting with their strongest archer first, Turkey shooting with their strongest archer last, and both teams putting their least experienced in the middle. Yeah, so like so I said, um, it's pretty much uh, the first or the last position that's the most stressful. So um, you, you either need to open the end uh, and, and put a good one, uh, a good arrow in there, um, so you have like a marker for the rest of the team, um, or you need to close it, and, and that means that you need to capitalize on either uh, the advantage that you can take in the, in the end, um, or you need to make something up uh, or make sure you don't uh, trail further. So it's like... Um, the middle is the least stressful because you just have to do your uh, your thing. You just have to shoot your shot, um, and essentially you have to do the same thing first or last. But there's just this uh, added pressure to it. Well, no pressure on the Turkish team as we saw there, and uh, those little clips of the second end. Coach delighted with his trio. They lead by three, Turkey. So we go into the second half of the match. Estonia will shoot first and they really need to claim some po points back. They need to get all three in this end. They could do with getting one or two. Over to you, it's Al Yatma. And that's enough. That looked like a good shot, but uh, it just hit right. And uh, she had some explanation for it, but. <laughs> My Estonian is not that great. Seven, usually a good score, but Turkey have hit four tens in a row up to this point. Isa Souza gets their third end underway. And that just might make the difference, the fact that uh, uh, she hits the line of the ten and Estonia shoots three really good nines, but uh, in compound archery with good weather, then a nine simply doesn't cut it all the time. The look on her face uh, perhaps suggested that I was going to fall outside the 10. 
first arrow marked for a measure, that's what the asterisk on your screen is for. We think it's a 10 here in commentary. And uh, that's definitely a 10 for Boston. So another potential two point currently marked as one point advantage for Turkey. And we saw Songa lock. We saw her come off the line and, and just nod her head, um, acknowledging that the shot wasn't good enough to hit the 10. And I think that's also a really important aspect of archery. As Lisel just uh, calmly shoots an arrow uh, pretty much dead center. So a better second half for Estonia than first, but we think Turkey are on 29 rather than 28. They've got a big chance here to really put this one almost out of reach entirely. was a great angle to uh, give you a perspective on how far 50 meters actually is. So these archers are shooting 50 meters at uh, a tendering that's 8 centimeters across. So it's actually quite remarkable that they're hitting uh, the gold consistently. The and in Yasim's case, the tendering <laughs> consistently. Well, it was a, a better performance from Estonia through the second half of that end, but still, Turkey, they're bubbling really, let's not, let's not forget that these are the two losing semi-finalists, so they've come off a loss, and if you look at this, this calmness and serenity in the Estonian team, they're trying to keep a level with it, but it looks like the Turkish team are having fun, they're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's like you say, uh, Estonia is trying to stay calm-headed, uh, and uh, Turkey is just calm-headed, that's, that's kind of the vibe I am uh, getting from looking at this uh, TV screen, obviously we're not there, so we cannot you know get the actual vibe but uh, um, yeah it's a uh, it's a, a bit of a difference uh, you can see here they're uh, they're making jokes they're laughing um, on the other end of the uh, of the targets uh, Estonia is kind of a bit more uh, I wouldn't say nervous but a bit more serious and, uh, and trying to figure out how to um, you know switch this uh, match around well, here we look at uh, Son on Lock. You talked about uh, the indication that she gave her teammates after shooting a shot that wasn't good enough for the 10. Uh, that communication between teammates is so important. It is, yeah. Y you don't want to uh, blame a bad shot on the circumstances, for instance, because that might put your teammates on the wrong foot. So if you shoot a, a bad shot and say, yeah, that must have been the wind, um, your next, your teammate might... Um, think like oh I have to adjust for the wind and then also shoot a 9 or an 8 even uh, just because they're uh, yeah not not fair not honest to, to themselves start of the fourth Estonia trailing by five points they need to claw this back and that's a great start from Lizelle Yatmar first hint of a smile here in this bronze medal match She knew at the moment rele of release that that was going to go low. You could see her left arm um, in the last attempt to get it up. Uh, you could see her lifting her bow, but yeah, that was too late. The arrow had, had already left. Oh, what if for Estonia there? Tetsman shooting an eight in the middle of Yatmar and passes two tens. Isa Souza up first again for Turkey in a very strong position here. 
I was going to say they don't even have to shoot everything into the 10 ring. They just need to shoot good shots um, and, and get a good end in. Um, and then they'll be able to clinch this match. But obviously it does help when you uh, shoot everything into the 10. That's right on cue. <laughs> I wonder if they can hear me. <laughs> well, it'd be no bad thing for Estonia to be able to hear you, there, but they are in an, an awful lot of trouble now. Seven behind. Ten. Yeah, and honestly, um, it seems like the only little slip up so far. Um, is the the shot just last um, last end from uh, um, Maris, where she had that little bit of a dip, uh, and that went low in the eight. Um, and for the rest, I think she and also her teammates have have shot quite good shots, but uh, um, have just been a bit unlucky with their group size and uh, just hit outside of the ten. But they've uh, they've actually shot a good match so far, but it doesn't really reflect so in the scores. And the nine. <laughs> what a response there. You know what? Mary Marie to pass. You're okay. That, that's okay at this stage. Turkey have got such a commanding lead. This is the first, uh, the first arrow out of the gold that uh, Turkey shoots. Well, if you look at the advantage, 232 still on the cards with two tens. Locks last arrow. Nine. They're both dropping a little low here, yep. but look at this. Yes, in Boston, with all her experience, ranked number 13 in the world. Takes her time, puts it into the 10. What a commanding performance by Turkey. The first eight of the match for them came in at the final end, but they'd already done more than enough to take the European bronze medal here in Munich in 2022. Chef, great to have you back. We've caught our first match uh, together in a, in a, a long time. Uh, it's lovely to have you here, but uh, quite frankly, Turkey were just better. Yeah, yeah. They, in this match, they were uh, yeah, significantly better. Um, and like I said, it didn't look like Estonia was really shooting badly or uh, or out of place. But uh, yeah, maybe just missing that that little edge that they need to uh, to hit the ten rather than uh, just a nine. And then yeah, I feel like the eight uh, in the last end was just <laughs> it it just uh, didn't help the whole cause. So um, they did well, but uh, Turkey just did better. Well. Brilliant summary, and uh, we've had confirmation here in venue that Turkey have taken the bronze medal at the 2022 European Championships. They've beaten this Estonian team who are getting stronger and stronger as a unit. Turkey, though, on this occasion, just better on the day. They will be on the podium a little bit later on.